Hello. <laughs> Hello. Shalom. Shalom. Good to see you. Glad to meet you. Glad to see you, my dear brother. How are you? I am well. How, how are you? Uh, uh, yes, I am. I am okay. Um, father, uh, Father Yaz uh, saved me um, from the uh, diseases of uh, dengue, malaria, typhoid, the sickness. Wow. The three types of diseases uh, attacked to me. Satan attacked me to do not uh, do the work uh, with speed. So that's why three months I faced a terrible situation mm -hmm. through the medicine and putting the talent bottles. You have also supported. You have also supported me and uh, prayed for me through your support. Through your help, through your financial support, through your prayerful support, along with your community, I am, I am okay. God healed me blessedly. Amen. Thank you so much for your, uh, thank you so much for your good support. Amen. Amen. They are all, uh, they are all asking you, how are you? I am well. I am well. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing very good. Yeah, very excited to be with you. Yeah, <laughs> little baby, little boy. He's he, he's crawling, he's crawling. And he, he pulls himself up. He's almost walking, but not not quite. Almost. So he's he's growing very yeah. fast. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, and yes. We are we are we are all remembering and praying for your blessed family and as well as your community to be grown. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Well, are we ready to start? Yes, we are all ready. Are all you ready? Right. See if I get her hand. Are you ready? Yes. Amen. Yes, Amen. We are all ready. Okay. So today I want to talk to you about holding our ground. Holding our ground, right? And we're going to talk about some lessons from the Apostle Paul what he spoke to Timothy and the things that he sowed into uh, Timothy as Timothy was ministering, right? So we have Paul, the, the elder, is speaking to Timothy, the younger, right, to equip him for the work of the ministry. And these are the lessons we're going to look at today. <laughs> So one of the things that Paul was trying to communicate to Timothy, right, the, 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 the big push was that he wanted to equip him to be able to live out his faith in difficult times because the apostle knew that hard times come right we all we all deal with hard times and the apostle understood this and so he wanted to equip his young minister to be able to handle difficulty <laughs> Now, the Apostle Paul, he gave... <laughs> with, with everything the Apostle told our brother Timothy, it came down to two major qualifications. For, for a minister, and that is commitment to the gospel 
and endurance in the face of persecution. And we've talked about endurance quite a bit. But we have to be committed to the gospel and endurance in persecution. Now, commitment and endurance, they have the same foundation. The foundation is commitment to Yeshua. If you are committed to Yeshua, right, you will be committed to his gospel, to his message. And if you are devoted to Yeshua, you will stand fast in the face of persecution because you won't quit. You won't turn around, right? Yes. So there's a verse. We're going to be reading a lot from 2 Timothy today. So 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. So when, when Paul was talking to Timothy here, he wanted Timothy to not be discouraged by those who didn't respect him, right? To not be discouraged by those who would oppose him, who would not uh, uh, receive his teaching. And that is the same for us. We live in a world where many people do not respect who we are. They do not respect the God that we serve and they do not respect the kingdom that we are trying to advance in the name of Yeshua. But we cannot be discouraged. We have to keep pressing forward. Years ago, I had one of my teachers who who taught me, uh, you know, the Bible, and he always told me. He says, when we minister, we have to remember we only have an audience of one, right? He was talking about the Father. We only have to please the Father. We don't concern ourselves with what other people think about us, right? Because when we concern ourselves with what other people think, with what man thinks, we can become discouraged, we can become intimidated, right? Because we're trying to please other people. We have an audience of one. We only care what the Father thinks about what we're doing. Yavaru 
ఉండాలి ఎందుకంటే తండ్రి మనల్ని చూస్తా ఉన్నాడు కనుక పరమ తండ్రి మన వైపు చూస్తున్నాడు కనుక నేను కూడా వారిలో ఒక్కరిని అనేటువంటి ఆ భావము మనకు కలిగి ఉండాలి I remember when I was just a little boy and I would go to school and right as I would leave the house I had my 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 coat on and my backpack and my lunch and I was ready for school and right before I left the door my father would look at me he get my attention he would say son be strong and really what he was saying is don't be afraid don't back down don't be intimidated because when he knew when i went out that door i was going to face the world right and he says don't be afraid don't be intimidated be strong and that is what paul is essentially telling timothy be strong in the face of opposition be strong na na chinatalamlo nenu school ki vellapudu talupulu vesinapudu intlo nunchi bayatiki vellapudu mana నన్ను స్కూల్కి వెళ్తున్నా కాబట్టి ధైర్యంగా ఉండు ఎవరన్నా ఏదన్నా అన్నా కానీ నువ్వేం పట్టించుకోవద్దు పని నువ్వు చూసుకో జాగ్రత్తగా ఎవరి వైపు చూడద్దు ఎవరు ఏదన్నా అన్నారని నువ్వేమి ఇంకొక రకంగా దిగజారిపోవద్దు నిరుత్సాహపడద్దు నువ్వు ధైర్యంగా ఉండు స్కూల్కి వెళ్ళు బాగా చదువు అని చెప్పేవాడు అలాగే అలాగే సేవలకు వెళ్తున్నప్పుడు పౌలు తిమోతి గారిని కూడా ధైర్యంగా నిలబడు దేవుని విశ్వాసంలో దేవుని ఎందు బలముగా ఉండు అని చెప్పి అపోస్తైనటువంటి పౌలు గారు హిమోతికి ధైర్యం చెప్తా ఉన్నాడు అలాంటప్పుడు రావాలి సో అనదర్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ కమిటెడ్ టు ద గాస్పల్ రైట్ విత్ వాట్ పాల్ వాస్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ వాజ్ నోయింగ్ హౌ టు కన్ఫ్రంట్ అండ్ కరెక్ట్ ద ఫాల్స్ టీచర్స్ All right how to confront and correct the false doctrines the false teachings that are out there in the world this is why we study this is you know we study to show ourselves approved we learn and continue to learn and we talk and discuss so we can educate our mind so we can refute the false doctrines that are there Yes. So one part of of just confronting the false doctrines is is the courage to do is to do so. We study, but if we don't have the courage to say anything, it's of no use, right? So we have to have the courage to stand up against those who would who would refute God's word. We have to have that courage. మనము ఎప్పుడూ కూడా దేవుని యొక్క వాక్యం చేత ప్రోత్సహించబడినటువంటి వారంగా మనం ఎల్లప్పుడూ కూడా మనం ఉండాలి సో లెట్స్ లుక్ ఎట్ అనదర్ వర్స్ సెకండ్ టిమోథీ చాప్టర్ 2 verse 23 through 25 right yep second second timothy chapter 2 23 through 25 hello timothy patrika rendu athayamu 23 24 vachina hmm So I like what he says in verse 25. He says he should be gentle as he corrects his opponents. 
So we have to have courage to correct, the, to correct those who speak against the gospel. But we also do it in a spirit of love, right? We don't attack people. We don't, we don't fight people. We stand up for God's word in his kingdom, and we do it from a spirit of love, right? A love and gentleness, because we want to reach the person, right? What happens when you fight? You put your hands up to guard, right? We want to have people open so they can receive. So we have to watch our attitude and how we communicate, even when we stand up to other people. Another aspect to our commitment to the gospel is maintaining fellowship. This is very important. We must maintain fellowship with our communities, with our fellow believers, right? In uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, Paul talks about how people left him, right? How, how they left him alone. And we have to understand not everybody will walk with us forever, right? Some people will leave, but we have to stay committed to a fellowship. We can't do this on our own. So, part of being in a community prevents us from falling away, right? Because if my brother sees that I am slipping, that I'm struggling, he can come alongside me and help me, right? And if I see my brother is slipping or if, if he is falling away, I can come and, and help him. We need the support because we all face different challenges and struggles throughout ministry. And this is why we have to come together collectively, even as leaders. A lot of times we think, well, I'm the pastor and, you know, I can't, and it's hard to find other people to lean on. But even as leaders, especially, we have to come together and have that support because if we don't have the support, it's easy for the enemy to knock us down. Oh, what happened? I lost him. I have to get him back. Good signal. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going. So, Paul's words to Timothy. He also talks how to be committed to the Lord, right? We'd be committed to the gospel. We have to be committed, devoted to the Lord. And Paul, he gave Timothy, he gave him uh, four, ex four, four truths on how to do this, right? 
to give him practical tools, if you will. So, Brother Paul, he talked to Timothy, and the, the first one was he's, Paul said that he was confident that Timothy would continue, that Timothy would continue to serve the Lord. Why was Paul confident that he would do this? Because Timothy's actions demonstrated his faithfulness, right? Paul could look at Timothy and looking at his character, his behavior, his speech, he says, I see a man whose heart is after the Lord and who will be devoted to the Lord. This is for us. We must be the same way. <laughs> Now second, Paul told Timothy, he said, he said, kindle afresh or fan the flames of your gift, right? Stir your gift up. And what he was saying is don't let the gift that God has given you go to waste, right? God gave each one of us a spiritual gift, some to minister, some to serve, etc. We do not let these things go to waste, right? We, we, don't, we don't waste these things. We use these gifts to build God's kingdom. In the Gospels, we're given the, the story of the parable of the talents, where the master gave the servants different amounts of money. Yes? And remember, in that, in that parable, the one who was punished was the one who took his gift and he hid it. He did nothing with his gift, right? That's an example to us. God gave us a spiritual gift. We must use it. We don't hide our gift. We don't hide our gift. We use our gift. That's why he gave it to us. Timothy, he says, look, God gave you his spirit. He put his spirit in you. Okay? That's the foundation from where we minister, is God's spirit. God gave us a heart to serve him. He gave us a mind, a sharp mind to use so we can read and understand his word and communicate it to those around us. Right? And so we have to trust that God gave us his spirit. Right? Because, because of our character, because of how we've showed our devotion to him. And we need to rely on that gift. We need to rely on that presence. 
మనం చూసినట్లయితే ఆయన ఇచ్చినటువంటి ఆయన మనం పరిగ్రహించినటువంటి సంస్థాన్ని కూడా మనం సరైనటువంటి రీతిలో వినియోగించుకునేటువంటి వాళ్ళుగా ఉండాలి అంటే దేవుడు ఒక ఆత్మను మనలో ఉంచాడు కనుక ఆత్మ నేర్పించే విషయాలను ఆత్మ మనం ప్రేరేపించే విషయాలను మనం మాట్లాడాలి మనం చేయాలి కానీ మన సొంత విషయాలను మనం సేవలే పరిస్థితులు కూడా ఉపయోగించుకోవాలి So, and now, fourth, number four, Paul's advice to Timothy was that Timothy should follow Paul's example. And what is going on here? We need to have somebody always more mature in the faith that we're looking to, right? We look to the mature ones so we can learn, and those under us would look to us so they can learn. And we look to our examples in Scripture. right those who have gone before us so we can learn and we follow their example right we don't do our own thing we do what has been set before us and so we always need to have mentors leaders right people who who would take the time to disciple us so this is underscores the the need for leaders right um one of the things that i was talking to my people about recently is that we need more leaders in the kingdom we have especially here in america we have lots of people who want to listen to the word to hear the word but not many people want to preach the word to declare the word to do the hard work of building disciples of sacrificing for the kingdom that's what a leader does and we need many many more leaders and that's why i'm so excited to see what you are doing in india with all the pastors there building into leaders who are going out and doing the work it's a very powerful thing and do not uh, do not discount the work that you do because it is very very powerful manu chestunnatundi paricharya chaala shaktivantamainatundi idi adbhutamainatundi idi kanuka idi samanyamainatundi vishayam kaadu mana dwara మన ద్వారా అనేక మంది నాయకులు రావాల్సినటువంటి వారు అయినారు మనం అనేక మంది శిష్యులను తయారు చేయవలసినటువంటి వారమైనాము మనం చిన్నగా ఆలోచించకూడదు ఎందుకంటే గొప్ప గొప్ప నాయకులను మీరు భారతదేశంలో తయారు చేయాలి ప్రభు రాజ్యం కొరకు అనేక మంది శిష్యులను సేవకులను నాయకులను మీరు కట్టేటువంటి వారుగా ఉండాలి ఆమెన్ Now the second foundation commitment to the gospel but endurance in the face of persecution the day and age we're in we can expect to see more persecution more hardship coming to God's people the world wants to distance itself from godly things from godly morals it's it's hostile to God's kingdom and God's people And so we have to mentally prepare ourselves for this. We have to prepare our hearts for this, and we have to physically prepare ourselves for this because scripture tells us this is what is coming as we get closer to the Lord's return. Inga manam chusina kodu prabhu yokka raakada samee penchina kodu kuda manu manasulonu hrudayamulonu mana yokka shareeramulonu మరి బలమైనటువంటి పండ గుర్తుగా మనము జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకోవాల్సింది ఏంటంటే స్వార్త పనులు శ్రమలు హింసలు ఇబ్బందులు మరి కరువులు అనేకమైనటువంటివి మన కళ్ళ ముందు మనకి ప్రారంభమవుతాయి అలాంటి సందర్భంలో మనము తొందరపాటు పడకోకుండా అలా మనం చదివినటువంటి విన్నటువంటి వాక్య భాగములను జ్ఞానం జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకుని శ్రమలు వస్తాయని ముందుగానే గుర్తించవలసినటువంటి వారమే ఉన్నాము So, 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3. Let's read that. 
రెండు మూడు రెండో పేజ్ రెండో తిమోతి పత్రిక So Paul tells Timothy to be like a soldier. Well, let's look at that example. What does a soldier do? A soldier is one who signs up when when he when he enlists, when he joins the military. He knows he's going to confront hostility. It's an expectation, right? He's a soldier. He knows he's going to engage in battle. He knows he's going to have to endure harsh conditions. and above all he knows he has to fulfill his mission he cannot abandon his post and so he remains devoted to his assignment because that's what a good soldier does paul tells timothy and he tells us as well as leaders we must be like soldiers have that same attitude right to be devoted to our mission jinga manam chusinaatleite paul తిమోతికి ఒక సైనికుడు వలే శ్రమను భరించడానికి నువ్వు సిద్ధముగా ఉండు సిద్ధపడు అని చెప్తా ఉన్నాడు నిజంగా మనం ఆలోచిద్దామండి ఒక సైన్యంలో ఒక మిలిటరీలో మిలిటరీలోనికి మనం ఒక సైనికుడిగా వెళ్ళినప్పుడు అతనికి ఏమర్థం అవుతుందంటే నేను గాయపరచి పడతాను నేను హాని చేయబడతాను ఆఖరికి నేను చంపబడతాను మరి నేను ఎన్నో శ్రమలు పొందుతాను నేను ఎన్నో కష్టాలు పడవలసిన పరిస్థితి నాకు ఉంటది అని చెప్పి సైన్యంలో సైన్యంలో మిలిటరీలో జాయిన్ అవుతారు అలాగే సేవకులమైనటువంటి మనము కూడా మనం మేము గాయపరచబడతాము హానిపరచబడతాము మరి నిందించబడతాము శ్రమలు పాలవుతాము అనేటువంటి విషయాలను కూడా మనం కూడా గుర్తు చేసుకోవాలి keeping with the soldier analogy right we never see soldiers alone right when they go into battle they never go alone they always go in squads and platoons and armies right they're always together we have to have that same mindset we don't fight alone the lord is on our side and we are on each other's side so we fight the spiritual battles together we do it as a community as brothers and sisters in the faith మనం చూసినట్లయితే మరి యుద్ధానికి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు సైనికుడు ఒక్కడ మాత్రమే ఎదరికి వెళ్ళడు ఆయన వెనకాల ఇంకా ఆయుధాలు ఉంటాయి ఇంకా సైన్యం ఉంటది ఇంకా పెద్ద సైన్యాధిపతి ఉంటాడు ఇంకా పెద్ద బలగం ఉంటది అలాగే మనము ఆత్మీయ సంబంధమైనటువంటి యుద్ధంలో పోరాడుతూ ఉన్నప్పుడు మన కొరకు మన కొరకు యుగోవా ఉంటారు అంతేకాకుండా ఆయన దోతలు ఉంటాయి ఇంకా మనము మన వెనకాల ఇంకా ఎంతమంది సేవకులు మన సంఘము అనేక మంది ప్రార్థనలతో మనం so paul continues this line of thought with timothy and he gives him three more examples three more examples of the character of nature of of a godly man and that's found in second timothy chapter 2 verses 4 5 and 6 So the first one was a soldier again he uses the soldier example a soldier remains focused right he keeps his eyes on his mission he can't be distracted with the cares of the world or other things going around because if he gets distracted then the enemy can take him out we must remain focused on what god has set before us on the assignment he has given us right if we get distracted with cares of the world and the desires of life all these kinds of things the enemy can take us out in a మనం చూసినట్లయితే సైనికుడు అనేటువంటి ఉదాహరణ మనం తీసుకున్నాం ఆ సోల్జర్ అనేటువంటి వాడు ఏం చేస్తాడంటే ఆ ఎదురుగా ఏదైతే మిషన్ ఉందో ఎదురుగా ఏదైతే యంత్రం అయితే ఉందో పోరాడవలసింది ఏదైతే ఉందో దాన్ని చూసి దాన్ని గురి కలిగి చూసి దాంతోనే పోరాటం చేయడం జరుగుతుంది ఆ రెండు కళ్ళు కూడా దాని వైపు కేంద్రీకరించడం జరుగుతుంది అలా కాకోకుండా 
అతను దృష్టి అటువైపు ఇటువైపు కానీ మళ్ళించి వేరే త్యాసలో కానీ ఉంటే కనుక శత్రు చేతిలో చెక్కుబడి అతన్ని తీసుకుని వెళ్ళిపోతారు అలాగే మన యొక్క దృష్టి ఆయన వైపు ఉండి ఆయన స్వార్థ వైపు ఉండి ఆయన పని వైపు మనము ఉన్నప్పుడే మనం ఇంకా ముందుకి పరిచర్యలో మరి యుద్ధంలో గెలిచి మంచి పోరాటాన్ని మనం గెలిచినట్టుగా మనం ఉంటాం అంతేకాకుండా మనం ఆ ధ్యాస కాకుండా వేరే ధ్యాసలు వేరే ఆలోచనలు కానీ మనం ఉన్నట్లయితే లోకాశంలోని శాతాలను మనల్ని లాక్కుని వెళ్ళిపోతా ఉండదు Now another analogy Paul uses is that of the athlete, right? What does an athlete do? An athlete, he plays sports, he plays his sport, right? And he does it with a system of rules, right? He has certain rules he has to follow to play the game, but also he's marked by endurance, right? he's he's running around you know uh, running with the ball or running the race whatever the sport is but it's marked by endurance we have our rules just like an athlete god's word is our foundational guidance that's what that's the rules by which we live by and our our goal is marked by endurance we can't give up right you don't play half the game and then sit down because you're tired you continue to play you continue to be like an athlete and run the race before you in endurance nijanga manam chusna kaithe manaki oka sainyaniki ee rakamga aithe oka haddulu anetuvanti untayi aa haddulu daati oka marklu gurtulu anetuvanti untayi ఆ గుర్తుల ప్రకారంగా వెళ్ళాలి తప్ప అన్ని చోట్లకి అన్ని వైపులో వెళ్ళిపోయి యుద్ధం చేయడానికి అలాగే అక్కడ ఆడుకునేటువంటి వారు కూడా ఆటకి ఒక సర్కిల్ అనేటువంటిది ఉంటుంది ఆ దానిలో నుంచి సరిహద్దుల్లో నుంచి మాత్రమే వాళ్ళు ఆడాలి అలాగే మనకు కూడా ఒక కొన్ని సరిహద్దులు అనేటువంటి ఆ సరిహద్దులు మనకి ఎలా తెలుస్తాయి ఆ గైడెన్స్ అన్ని కూడా ఎలా తెలుస్తాయి అంటే దేవుని వాకింగ్ ద్వారానే మనకు తెలుస్తుంది ఎలా పాటించాలి ఎలా ఫాలో అవ్వాలి అనేటువంటి ప్రతి విషయం కూడా మన హద్దులు ఏంటి మన విధానం ఏంటి అనేటువంటిది పరిస్థితి లేకుండా బాగా ద్వారా మనం తెలుసుకోవాల్సిన వారు మేము Now the third example Paul gives to Timothy is that of the farmer right the farmer he plows his ground he plants his seed and then he waits patiently right once he's done all the hard work he plants and he waits for things to grow so he can he can receive the fruit of his labor right so he can reap a harvest but he understands these things take time and he waits patiently he doesn't put his seed in the ground and go away and forget about it he's waiting to reap that fruit and sometimes when we're doing God's work we don't see fruit right away but we keep working we keep working we keep working because we believe that god is going to bless it and grow it and then we will see the fruit of our labors sir ga man nakaithe paul timothy ki ichinaatundi aa yokka nirvachanam aa yokka soochana edaithe undo nokante oka vittanam vesi vittanam vesi danini penchi petta cheyataniki అది పెరిగే పెద్దదవి ఫలాలు ఫలించడానికి అది మళ్ళా మనకు ఫలాలు ఇచ్చేటువంటి సరికి ఫలాలు ఇవ్వటానికి కొంత సమయం అనేటువంటి పడుతుంది కనుక అంతవరకు మనం ఇచ్చేలే ఎదురుచాడు అలాగే మనం వాక్యాన్ని ప్రకటించినప్పుడు సేవలు చేసినప్పుడు ఫలాలు రావటానికి కానీ కార్యాలు జరగటానికి కానీ అది మనకట్టబడటానికి కానీ కొంత సమయం అంటూ ఉంటుంది అందుచేత మనము ఎదురు చూస్తూ పని చేస్తూ సేవ చేస్తూ the behavior of believers especially in times of difficulty it shows what they're made of it shows what we're made of when we deal with opposition it shows how strong we are right we can say that we're very very strong we can say anything we want but when we are faced with external pressure that reveals how strong we truly are right and so we have to remember that we are living witnesses to those around us we have to be strong because other people are looking at us 
Other people need our strength as leaders and as men of the gospel. We cannot quit and we cannot fail. We rely on the Lord and we continue to move forward. Now let me let me share my heart. I was speaking with uh, with my community recently and looking at the the social structure of our country and things that are happening here in our country. America is going to see persecution like it has never seen before. And I believe this coming year we're going to see more and more of these things. And my fear is that God's people here in America are not ready to face these kinds of things. Other parts of the world have had to endure persecution uh, for, for many, 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 many years prior to but America has always enjoyed freedom. We've, we've never had to deal with these kinds of things. And collectively as a whole, I don't believe God's people in America are equipped to handle these things. Right? We've had it too easy for too long. And one of my, my major concerns is that we're not doing enough here to raise up, to disciple strong leaders. This is why I always talk to you about persecution, about endurance, right? About being strong in hard times. I think that America and the people who are in the world are the world. They are in the world. They are in the world. So I would say I would say to you and to all the pastors there for this coming year we're about to step into January a new calendar year you know 2023 for that year put special focus on building up a new generation of leadership um, one thing I always challenge a lot of pastors with is if you something were to happen to you right if you were to be imprisoned, if you were to be in an accident, right, or sickness, or something would happen to you, what would happen to your ministry? Would you have somebody in your ministry able to pick up where you left off? Do you have someone in your ministry able to take over and continue the work if something were to happen to you? Right? Many, at least in America, many men do not. We don't have enough strong leaders. So take, pray, prayerfully consider taking this next year and finding that person that you can pour into, just like Paul poured into Timothy, right? So that way the work can continue, right? We, we need to be discipling not just the people, but leaders as well to build that person up that can duplicate what you do. Paul Garu, Timothy, 
విషయాలు చెప్తున్నాడు నేను కూడా మీకు తెలియపరిచేటువంటి విషయం ఏంటంటే కొన్ని శ్రమల కొండ మనం వెళ్ళొచ్చు కొన్ని పరిస్థితుల్లో మనం చిక్కుకోవచ్చు కొన్ని విధానాల్లో మనం వెళ్ళొచ్చు రెండు వేల ఇరవై రెండు పూర్తి అయిపోయింది రెండు వేల ఇరవై మూడులో మనం వెళ్ళబోతున్నాం మనకి ఏ సమస్యలైనా కలాత్వచ్చు మరి జరగవచ్చు సంభవించవచ్చు అయితే మన పరిచయాన్ని కొనసాగించుకొని కొనసాగించుకోయేటువంటి వారిని ప్రజల్ని సంఘాన్ని చుట్టుపాటు మీ యొక్క సేవను కొనసాగించడానికి పరిచర్యను పనిని కొనసాగించడానికి అంటూ కొంతమంది చుట్టుపాటు మీ యొక్క పనిని మీ పరిచయం కొనసాగించడానికి కొంతమందిని మీరు చుట్టుపాటు చేసి శిష్యులుగా మీ పిల్లలను కానీ లేకపోతే లోపెట్టేటువంటి వారుగా ఉండాలి మా యొక్క అమెరికా దేశంలో పెద్దవాళ్ళు సేవ చేస్తే దాన్ని కుమారులు పనిని కొనసాగించే వాళ్ళు ఇక్కడ లేరు కనబడట్లేదు మన చేత మీరు అలా కాకుండా వచ్చే సంవత్సరం ఏ రకమైన పరిస్థితులు సంభవించినప్పుడు కూడా మీ పరిచర్యను మీరు చేసేటువంటి వర్క్ ని మిగిలినటువంటి వారు కొనసాగించేటువంటి వారుగా కొంతమందిని మీరు తయారు చేయాలి సో డూ నాట్ బి డిస్కరేజ్ బై హార్డ్ టైమ్స్ వి నో హార్డ్ టైమ్స్ విల్ కమ్ we know that as people of god that the world does not like us the world resists us because we stand for something that is opposed to the world we stand for god's kingdom but we can take joy in the fact that our foundation cannot be shaken our foundation is the lord himself it is his word and it is pro- his promise that he has given to us that is our foundation so that can never be taken from us the world will try they will harass us they will try to get us to quit but just like the soldier we don't abandon our mission just like the athlete we run with endurance and just like the farmer we are diligent to expect a harvest yeah bhai karma ekwanti kaalu కష్టకరమైనటువంటి రోజులు వస్తా ఉన్నాయి కనుక మరి పౌరు తిమోతికి నేర్పేస్తున్నాడు ఒక సైనికుల వల్ల ఉండమని లేకపోతే ఒక వ్యవసాయకుల వల్ల ఉండమని ఇంకా అనేక పరిస్థితులు ఒక మంచి పునాది కలిగి ఉండమని అని తెలియపరుస్తు అదే విషయాలు మనకు కూడా దీర్ఘ తెలియపరుస్తుంది ఈ యొక్క చివరి తరంలో కూడా మరి కష్టతరమైనటువంటి పని రోజుల్లో కూడా మనం కూడా అలాంటి బలమైన one last scripture i want to leave you with and it's second timothy chapter 3 verse 12 through 15 rendu timothy patrika 3rd adhyayam 12 to 15 So Paul tells Timothy continue in what you have learned, right? Don't abandon it. Keep it close to you. God has given you the gospel. He has given you the message. And you have been faithful to spread the gospel. Continue to do the work. Continue to disciple the leaders so that uh, you can continue to reap a great harvest. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. ఖచ్చితమైన దేవుని యొక్క వాక్యము నీ హృదయంలో ఉంది కనుక నీవు దేవుని యొక్క వాక్యాన్ని నేర్చుకున్నావు కనుక దాన్ని విడిచి పెట్టకుండా మరి కొనసాగించేటువంటి వారుగా పిల్లలు తయారు చేయటంలో కానీ సంఘమును కట్టడంలో కానీ పరిచయం చేయటంలో బలమైనటువంటి పునాది నిలబడాలని చెప్పి మరి మోదీకి వాస్తవం సో దాట్ ఇస్ ఆల్ ఐ హ్యావ్ బట్ నో దట్ మై ప్రేయర్స్ ఆర్ విత్ యూ అండ్ విత్ యువర్ కమ్యూనిటీ Um, I'm always telling my community everything that you're doing to be an encouragement to them. 
how you're raising up leaders, how you're feeding the orphans, how you're going to the villages, so that it'll be an example to us of the work that we need to be doing and the work that God's people need to be doing here in our country. You are a strong people and you are doing great work for the kingdom. Do not let anybody diminish you or let anybody say otherwise because many, many people are not doing the work that you do. You are very strong and you should be very proud of that. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope to see you next month. Yes? Good. <laughs> good, good. Well, many blessings to you and to your family and all the pastors and their families. Many blessings to you all. Continue, continue to be strong. Shalom. It is very spiritual message to listen. It is very useful to me to grow up the Bible. It is very useful to me to grow up in the spiritual life. Continue to be strong, my brother. Continue to be strong. You're doing good work. Know that know that you have chosen you have chosen well you have chosen a good life you have chosen a path that that is it is difficult yes 
but it has great rewards, great spiritual benefits for those who would undertake the Lord's work. Amen. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your blessed message for all of us. Through your, through your good supporting, every month we are strengthened by the, by the word of Yah. Through your good teaching. And every pastor in... Uh, this pastor, Pastor Pastor Paul, has started the ministry. Pastor Paul has started the ministry at uh, at the long distance of Hindu village uh, Kanaku. Wonderful. And, so, and like that, different, different. Uh, and he is also he is now uh, he is using your messages. Um, he is carrying your message and doing the wonderful ministry at Kanaku. Tanuko city. It is. So um, now, now he is having twenty more, twenty more believers coming to his church. Wonderful through your support. Thank you. Wonderful, Thank you. wonderful. Very, Thank you. Very, 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 you are doing very wonderful ministry. Good, through your good. Good support to each one. Every, every each one pastor who are sitting here, they are doing the good ministry to you every month to your good encouragement, my dear brother, to your good prayer support, everyone, everyone around you. So that's why they are coming at uh, some long distance of villages, they are coming. They are travel and coming to this place, to your message, to your blessing. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings to you. Thank you. So Thank you. We will see you all next next time, next month, yes? Okay, yeah. Kindly remember, remember the pastors, remember the pastors, and remember the uh, orphans, remember the orphans, and everything. Keep it remember in your community and pray for all of us about this. This month, this month, we want to distribute. We want to distribute some clothes to the orphans and the pastors and some widows. As I told you before, yes. as I told you before, yep. so kindly pray for this need um, this month. Okay, brother? Yes, yes. Convey my regards to your blessed family. Thank and you. And your community. Thank you. I receive it. We will see you later. Yep. Blessing. Bye-bye. <laughs>